Hey guys, so today I'm back with one of the last videos on this yard sale computer, probably for a little while, because just making videos on this over and over again are probably just going to get boring, so I'm going to start making other videos once I find, well, other stuff at yard sales and just stuff to screw around with. So I got my two parts in the mail today which are way ahead of schedule because they weren't supposed to be until Tuesday. I got one stick of eight gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, which fit in here, I think. And I got a 64 gigabyte SSD from Dogfish Technology. I found this on Amazon for 30 bucks. Also, don't worry about that sticker. I, that was already holding this down anyway. So, it's not the sticker. So, my first order of business is going to be cleaning off this. Because on the camera, it looks a lot worse than it does in person. So, I'm going to clean this off first. So, that should look a lot better for you guys at home. So, let's get into it. First thing I got to do is... Take off the side panel. And here's the computer. So, there's the cords. Shockingly enough, there's cords on the side. So, I got the first drive bay here, if you guys can see this. So we got this drive bay, which is where the hard drive goes. So, I'm going to be installing this first. Okay, there, there. A little more aggressive than I was hoping for, but that works. And this hard drive just kind of slides, for the most part, slid right out. That's good. I believe this thing, if you can see these, these were specifically designed for this computer, I'm assuming. As you can see there's the little wheels on the side. You can see there's the wheels on the side, which I believe were intended for this computer specifically. So, so this is how big the original hard drive is in this thing. This is the SSD for comparison. If you put them next to each other, look at how much smaller the SSD is. This thing will, and it's way faster too. So, yeah, on top of that, the hard drive, the SSD, is a lot faster than the actual HDD drive. So, that means that this thing will be way more powerful. So, I'm gonna wanna put it on the lower end because there's no actual. Hmm. So there's no actual SSD drive bay for this. Cause it's just general being older. So yeah, it's relatively easy to install still. Let's plug the drive one in and plug the power one in. There you go. It's gonna kind of just have to hang in there, which is fine. It's fine. So now we focus our attention on the RAM. So see the RAM right down here? This is being replaced. This is two gigs of DDR2. At least I hope it's DDR2. If it's not, then I got an issue. Because this right here is a stick of DDR2. 
So, just gotta hope it both fits, cause I'd be out fifteen bucks if I if it doesn't. So, let's go for it. Ah. So there's a bit of an issue. This isn't DDR2 RAM for this computer. I thought it was DDR2, but it must be DDR3 instead. Because if I put them both in front of the camera, if I put them right next to each other, sure they're the same size, but if you see where the pin is, or where it slides in right there compared to right there there's a big difference so this one just straight up can't go in here because it just wouldn't fit so it, so I am out 15 bucks on this but I don't know might keep it might just sell it again or something I don't know but I have to put this back in, so the only thing I'm really changing is the, is to an SSD. Which is still fine. in the slot. I don't know why, RAM always gives me such a pain to be able to put in. So, I might just switch it to another slot just so it's easier on me. Because these wires are getting in my way. There you go. Both clipped in there. So, could only do one part, being the SSD. RAM, I'll get to another time. Probably in another video way later. But now let's turn it on. But wait. One thing I forgot to do before this. Well, not really forgot. I just wanted to make this video longer but anyway one thing I didn't do yet was make a bootable drive for Windows 7 like a Windows installed ISO so I'm gonna have to do that and I'll be back so give me a while I'll probably get one from my friend because he has all those ISOs so I'm going to make a bootable drive, and I'll be back, guys. Okay, so I'm back. I got the USB drive. And another thing I realized was my second monitor for my actual PC has a VGA port on it. So I can use it for this. Just better quality. So, yeah. Okay, so... Plugging it in worked. Just gonna turn it on. I know that. Huh? Okay, it's got. Oh, that's a problem. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, you can stop beeping now. Wasn't expecting there to be a problem with the RAM. I was more expecting it for to say something about the friggin' no, um, no hard drive.
That's what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting something about the no RAM. That's weird, but I'll get to it later. I don't feel like doing it right now, so I'll be back in a day or two, and yeah. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I moved the RAM slot, and I plugged in the um, USB, so let's turn it on. Okay. Hold on. Sounds louder than before. Has power and the USB is flashing. So, I think it's doing something. I'm just gonna turn on the monitor. Turn on the monitor. And kinda just see what happens. Oh, it's booting off of the USB already. Hmm. Yeah, I made a bootable drive just because I don't feel like spending the money for to buy a brand new friggin' setup drive or setup disc. So I just got a USB version for my friend. I just want to say, I didn't feel like editing this all down, so I put it all on fast time lapse. So, yeah. I just want to say, while you're here, make sure to like and subscribe, because I want YouTube algorithm to like me more. And my last short got about 2,500 views, I believe. So, I can say 99% of people who watch my video aren't subscribed, so subscribe. Okay, so I'm back. I thought I'd need a registry key, so I'm surprised that I didn't. So I'm gonna make username and password. That went relatively smooth too. And at least in my time, it only took about, what? 15 minutes? Which is pretty solid still. So I'm just gonna make the username rocks tech and the computer name um mm. okay so i can't name it yard sale pc actually i can so i can but that would be boring so i'm gonna do is whatever you guys put in the comments is what i'll change the computer name to Whatever comment has the most likes, I'll make the name of the computer that. Don't make it anything stupid or something that'll get me banned from YouTube. But other than that, I don't care. And there you go. Check comments. Type a password. Do I have to have a password? I don't think I do. Oh, I do need a product key. This one should work on top. Five fifty nine PM. Next, finalizing your setting, preparing your desktop. Wait, where's the audio coming from? Hold on. Where's the speaker? 
Dude, that's weird. Because when I, um... When I made my other videos, I was using the other monitor, which is right here. I just gotta move my camera real quick. Yeah, so in my other videos, I was using this big old monitor. And this has speakers on itself. So I thought that it was just this to hit speakers. And earlier, when the RAM didn't go in correctly and it played that beep, I thought that beep was just something that it would do on its own that the speakers wouldn't work for anything else. So I'm surprised this thing has speakers, but that's still pretty good. I'll take it. Hey guys, so this is me in post. I just wanna say that there's another good 30 minutes of recording that I really don't wanna edit because it's Steam not being able to get .NET Framework to work, me realizing Steam's not even gonna work on Windows 7 soon, and I have no idea how to get the .NET Framework to work, and also me trying to install Minecraft, but it says can't install a native launcher, no idea what that means. And it's also me trying to change the resolution. Didn't work. It was weird. So I just want to say thanks for watching up to here. If you did, like and subscribe for actually better videos. But other than that, see ya.